bump out of the road. Hopefully they repave because that'll just wash right out. Well, the water boys have now got the downhill closed off, so I had to come down the uphill and then cut across and make it, and luckily nobody was coming up the uphill. Did you get all that? Going down the uphill, then down the downhill. Luckily nobody was coming. back down the up road. Cut across and back down the down road. Oh, I guess. Okay, Kitty's just came home and it was very odd because when I came home the plate was over there which that's where I left it but it had bones in the plate so either somebody came and brought them bones to eat or they found bones and they brought them and put them on the plate I think that's very odd why would the kitties bring the bones put them on the plate to eat I don't know strange <sighs> it was a hot day out in the sun today it's a project I'm uh, working on, supervising, helping, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, one of the things that happens is that when you're the boss, there's a lot of times, and on this job, I'm one of the bosses. And there was a little issue this morning where I wanted something done, and it didn't get done the way I wanted it, when I wanted it, etc. So... I was not happy. Um, I told this young person that when I ask him to do something, I mean ask him to do it, period. I'm not going to explain why or anything else. When you're the boss, I'm always thinking five, ten steps ahead of where you are in something. So when I ask you to do something, I expect you to do it. And he just grumbled and blah, blah, blah and went about his own way. So I had one of the other bosses and that solved that, sort of. But this will be a one-time thing. I'm not going to go through this with this person because he thinks he knows better than me what to do when he's 20-some years old uh, and I've done construction all my life. So if this continues, I already told him, this continues, you can find another job and that'll be the end of that. I don't care. I don't need that. I've got enough things to think about and as a boss and being the boss, I'm not going to go through and explain everything that I'm thinking and why you need to do a certain thing. I would never ask you to do something stupid like, oh, jump out of the top of the coconut tree and land on your head. No, of course not. If I ask you to do something, it's because there's a reason that I know, and as the boss, I don't have to explain to you why I need you to do that because I'm already thinking of something else. So, you know, there's a lot of times being the boss is, is not always the, the most fun job, um, but, Hopefully this is all resolved and everybody else was, I think, perfectly fine. They were like, okay, right. And the other guys told them, when he says something, just do it, period. That's how being the boss is. It's not always a fun job. <laughs> Oh, here's one, just a little bit, just in case you don't remember. 
basically, I've been the boss of whatever I do uh, since I was 13. I'm now 58. So that's 45 years of all kinds of learning, all kinds of doing, hardly ever working for anybody else. It's always been, you know, pretty much just me. So that's just a little background history in case you didn't know that. So that's why I've done a lot of things. I've done accounting, construction, all kinds of stuff, marketing, and I have a big background. I've always done a lot of things. So that's why I've been a boss for a long time, since I was a kid, really. Yeah, I have to do laundry too. Boss does a lot of things. And then of course there's this one. This one is the original mommy. This is a daughter. And that would be a son to that one and a grandson to that one. We've got the whole family clan going on here. I don't know where the little girl that goes with that one is, but she's usually around too. You've seen her. I just realized I have a slight dilemma. Um, I didn't have time for breakfast. Uh, by lunchtime, I didn't have time to cook. So I went to the bakery and got a scone. And here it is nighttime. I didn't take anything out for dinner. Even if I did, I forgot to hook up the gas to cook on the stove. So I'm not sure how tonight's dinner food type thing is going to go. I actually went to convenience for you. I was gonna get, you know, one of those little briar pints of uh, ice cream. They didn't have any. So we're gonna have to come up with a plan B because I think by tomorrow I'll be really hungry. I'm gonna head out to uh, the blue room. See if they're open and what they've got. That'll be my first choice. Or actually, no. Let me see if Annie's is open. Not Annie's. Yeah, <laughs> Blue Room's gonna be my first choice. Um, we'll see what they've got. If not, I don't know. I suppose I could go to Sunset. We'll see. <laughs> Okay, Blue Room's not going to be open until next month, which is October. So that didn't work. Uh, I guess I'll try Sunset next. I would think they'll be open. I just realized something. Today's Thursday. Sunset's never open on Thursday. Oh, man. Uh, I'm gonna have to come up with a different plan here. Okay, I know Burroughs is closed now, but maybe Eleuthera Supply is still open. So maybe I can pick up something there that I can wing together. Okay. okay, looks like Luther Supply might be open. Yay! Come give me a flash roll. Well, I guess it's going to be hot dogs tonight. Wasn't my first shot by a long shot, but I can microwave those. And then tomorrow I've just got to find a time to put the gas tanks out. Huh, better than nothing. <laughs> <laughs> 